Hi you guys, and welcome back to Nameless. Um, so the last time we left off, we left off in a weird situation where Undertaker wanted us to take in boxes. He's fucking crazy. <laughs> but anyways, let's get this started, I guess. Quick. Well, anyways, well, no, 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 before we start that, we haven't looked at our phone. No one's texted us, because fuck everybody. <laughs> what about our diary? <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm still having the throat problem. What is this? Have we missed really that much days? Okay. We've read that. We've read that. Okay. Okay. Uh I'm trying to see where we left off. Mmm. No, because these most of these are just like uh from the common route. Okay. Uh, uh. Okay. I thought that the location in, and the toner in the bathroom was running out too fast. And Yuri was the one to blame. He yelled saying he'd buy better ones. Oh, I hate him. Okay, well I hope my voice is getting back to normal because I've had like this rough voice lately, so I hope it doesn't sound bad, you guys. I'm sorry. Um, I covered my mouth in a hurry. Mr. Jujin gave me a deathly look. Mr. Undertaker, holy shit, I'm already- Who the fuck is Yujin? I am so sorry. Holy shit, um... 그런데 지금 뭐라고 했지? <웃음> 수건이라고? 그것도 대충? 음... Um, I'm sorry. <웃음> Mr. Undertaker's voice grew lower. He was so intimidating that I couldn't help but back away. I took a huge step back and said, <웃음> I wasn't saying that's what you have to do. I was just saying that there are other ways than giving material things to show your love to Beatrice. Yeah, something like that. Mr. Undertaker shook his head at what I said. I've never heard this before. I've never heard about a guy investing his time like that for a girl. I've never heard that. This would sound romantic to anyone who hears it. It is romantic, but reality sucks. But the problem is that the woman is not what normal people think. Beatrice is a model. A creepy skeleton model. But she's just a model. Morago? I'm so sorry, holy shit. I, um, she is a beautiful model. <laughs> As Mr. Undertaker asked sharply again, I closed my mouth. You just, you're just having a horrible day, Molly. And I hurriedly grabbed the top box. I was saying she deserves the, that kind of treatment. <laughs> oh, of course, I have to move all these. Beatrice must be waiting. 아무튼 이걸 다 옮겨놓은 이유에는 가도 좋으니까 마음대로 해. 단 하나도 빠짐없이 양호실에 옮겨놔야 한다. 나중에 빠진 게 있는지 없는지 다 확인할 거야. This guy is crazy. Uh, okay, um, but where are you going? Wonchan. What? What? I don't understand. So you're taking her to a spa? 잠시 그녀를 데리고 온천역이라도 다녀와야겠어. 이대로 두면 그녀가 정말 크게 화를 내고 말 거야. You can't, you kind of give off this feeling like Yuri. 화를 내는 모습도 아름답지만 말이야. Oh my god. Mr. Undertaker. This is literally Undertaker from Kuroi Shitsuji. Not gonna lie. Going to the spa with Beatrice? I just imagined something very creepy. In the middle of steaming springs, Beatrice's white, white bones. Ugh. I get goosebumps just by thinking about it. I shook my head, trying to forget that horrible scene. Anyways, Mr. Undertaker, can you leave for the spa right now? What if someone gets sick? Mr. Undertaker looked at me as if I was asking something stupid. What? Oh my God. 
And this is where we get scenes, like in every anime, because the fucking nurse is never fucking there. We get the scenes like, oh, like, boy kisses boy, girl kisses boy, oh my goodness, things happen. Or at least the manga and the anime if I've watched and read. Things always happen in the nurse's office, and now this is explained why. All the fucking nurses are taking their skeleton models to the fucking spa. <laughs> what? How can they just take whatever they need? 괜찮아. 아무 문제 없어. 지금까지도 그렇게 해 왔으니까. What the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> what? I I doubted my ears. 지금까지도 그렇게 해 왔단 말이다. 아픈 녀석들이 오면 선반에 있는 약들 좀 대충 아무거나 골라 줬지. Are you 그랬더니 다들 잘 만났더군. Are you actually a nurse? That's what's scary me at this at the moment. But then again, Undertaker wasn't really, you know, whatever. Uh, Mr. Undertaker calmly walked away. He must not know how shocked and scared I am right now. Uh, I turned around and stared blankly at the pile of boxes in front of me. Uh, what am I gonna do? It doesn't make sense for me to carry all this by myself. But I can't just ignore it and turn away. Mr. Undertaker will never forgive me if I do. Ugh. I sighed and grabbed one of the boxes. I'll be done eventually after a while. E eventually. Of course I'm doomed, Mr. Undertaker. I'm going to hate you forever. I finished carrying everything and hurried, but it was just as I expected. The cafeteria ran out of everything. Um, do you have any bread left? The cafeteria lady silently shook her head. I guess I had to skip lunch and starve today. I slouched my shoulders and headed to the classroom. It was light and classes will start soon. There wasn't even time to go to the convenience store, so I just gave up. Ugh, I'm hungry. Every time I take a step, I hear my stomach grab that sound in my, my stomach right now. It's my stomach blaming the owner who didn't provide the food. I'm sorry, just bear with me for a while. After class, I'll run to the convenience store and stuff myself with something. That sounded wrong. <laughs> stuff something in me. Oh, oh my god, no, that's not it worse. <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, huh? That's... I was grumbling while walking to the classroom when I stopped abruptly. On the hallway back to the classroom, I saw two familiar people. The woman's our Korean teacher. And the one facing her is Yuri? I saw the Korean teacher starting conversation with Yuri on the other side of the hallway. The teacher flipped her long hair and talked to him in a high voice. Her nails looked like they were recently done in a salon. Her long, lean fingers were very feminine. The nails looked recently done. They might get caught in her hair if... What? I was feeling disdain towards the teacher for some reason. Huh? Why am I upset right now? He's just talking with another teacher. I was embarrassed and scratched my head for no reason. She was holding out a pretty basket in one hand. I couldn't see well, but I guess it was a gift because of the colorful wrapping. What's inside? Before I knew it, I was focusing on their conversation and forgot my hunger. No, I'm Yuri sounded serious, unlike usual. I wanted my eyes on the unfamiliar sight. Oh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this. Yep. I can't stand that voice. I'm sorry. I, I, I clicked on accident. <laughs> the Korean teacher smiled. It was feminine and soft and kind of smile. Hmm, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm not sure what I'm saying. I'm not sure what I'm saying. I'm not sure what 바로 다음 시간에 수업이 있거든요. 아, 정말 아쉽게 됐네요. 오늘은 제가 포기해야겠군요. 그럼 다음번에 꼭 같이 식사하는 걸로 해요. 네, 죄송합니다. 다음번엔 제가 대접하도록 하죠. <웃음> 그말 기억해 둘게요. 아, 맞다. 이거 받으세요. 응? She held out the basket she was holding. 머핀이에요. 아침에 구운 거예요. 바로 다음에 수업 있으시면 제대로 식사도 못 하실 텐데. 
이거 드세요. Holy shit, the muffins. Take the fucking muffins. 이런 이렇게 생각해 주시니 감사합니다. 빈손으로 받아도 되는 건지 모르겠네요. Don't question it and take the muffins. Take the muffins so I can go over there and take them from you when she's not there. <웃음> 선생님 드리려고 준비한 건데요, 뭐. 대신 다음번 식사 약속 꼭 잊지 마세요. Yuri elegantly smiled and nodded. At that, the older teacher smiled with her eyes and disappeared. Never knew she knew how to smile like that. She's definitely a woman. The click of her heels rang through the hallway. As soon as the clicking disappeared, I came back to my senses. I stopped on my way to class to listen to their conversation. I should hurry back to the classroom. I was heading back to the classroom, but I couldn't forget what I just saw. What? I thought he was always buttery, like he's at home. He actually knows how to talk normally. It was strange to see Yuri so sincere and gentle. He always fools around in front of me. I felt goosebumps. I felt goosebumps climb up my back at remembering what happened this morning. That was a really a dangerous moment. Oh fuck! Ah! <laughs> uh, I suddenly heard Yuri's voice from behind. Give me the fucking muffins, though. I thought he went the opposite way, but he must have headed towards the same direction. I turned around and awkwardly said hello. Oh, uh, hi. No, um, hello, Mr. Yuri. Ah, 그래. 여긴 무슨 일이야? 아, 뭘 사러 온 건가? No, because everything's. Uh, what? Oh, yes, I came to buy lunch. Uh, but. 그런데? Um, give me the fucking muffins. <laughs> Yuri looked at my empty hands. His handsome eyebrows arched as if I'm wondering why. Everything worth eating ran out. I was just about to head back to the classroom. 이런 점심을 굶는 건안 되지. 자 이거 받아. Um, I I can't take this. No, yes I can. Yuri handed me the muffin basket he just received. What? No, it's fine. The Korean teacher gave you this. I can't take it. Oh my fucking god! You gave it away, Molly. That you were watching it. No, you're supposed to say no. Can't take it. Oh God. God damn it. 내가 국어 선생에게 받은 거라는 건 어떻게 알지? 혹시 설마 다 보고 있던 거야? You gave it away, Molly. Come on. Girl. Come on. You gotta be on your game. Yuri smiled wickedly. He looked pleased for some reason. No, I was just around and happened to hear it. It was genuine, simple coincidence. Hmm, it was a coincidence, but it's not like we saw it and like, oh no, I can't listen to this. We were like, oh shit, what's going on? What's going on here? Yuri smiled with his eyes and came towards me. He was completely different from the way he looked at the other teacher earlier. 그렇게 신경이 쓰면 날 부르지 그랬어, darling. 난 네가 부르면 언제든지 달려갈 텐데 말이야. He says, darling, I read honey. What the fuck? Yuri whispered sweet words. Of course, this perp isn't going anywhere. That sincere version I saw earlier was long gone. Please stop. I mean, shut up. I looked around and didn't find anyone. I relaxed and treated him comfortably. He wasn't going to listen to me if I'm polite. And you know, other kids can see, so don't do what you just did. I call me honey and darling. Our Korean teacher's a woman too. Girls already must misunderstand the way you act, and if they see that... What I mean is, um, they might misunderstand you like them. Honestly, I always wanted to talk to you about your attitude. If you're always flirting with girls, they might get genuinely come to hate you one day, so be careful. I don't know what Yuri's thinking when he acts like that. But he doesn't seem to like that Korean teacher. If he always misunderstood, he, what the fuck? How did I read that? I I just skipped the whole sentence. What the fuck? If he always leaves room for hope like that, he'll definitely he'll definitely be misunderstood. What the fuck's wrong with me? Yuri slightly frowned at my words. 혹시 그거 마이 허니 얘기 아니야? Ah, uh, no. What? Yuri nodded. It was ridiculous the way he said. He seemed to think he knew it all. 자세한 이야기를 묻고 싶지만 
바뀌니까 참도록 하지. <sighs> Yuri whispered in my ears. Just when I was about to tell him that I'm getting goosebumps, he leaned over fast. Oh! <gasps> ah! Yuri kissed my ear in a flash. What a fucker. <laughs> what, what is he doing? I heard he looked around. Thankfully, no one was passing by. But although no one saw it, we were still out in public. After realizing that my face turned red with embarrassment. Yuri's face turned strange at seeing that. Oh, this is a cute one, by the way. Oh my god, I'm getting embarrassed. Fuck you, Yuri. And then, my honey, you're getting a little bit of 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 a little don't know how to react with these kisses now. I just don't even know my own feelings at this point. Shh, are you really going to be like this? Ugh, I'll see you at home. <웃음> 먼저 그렇게 적극적으로 나와주다니 영광인 걸? 마음의 변화가 생긴 거야? 물론 난 언제든 오케이야. I'm pretty sure I haven't. Uh, okay, whatever. No, stop saying things like that. What if someone hears you? 부끄러워하지 마. What the fuck are you talking about? No? Oh. My stomach growled while I was shouting out no. There was no way Yuri missed it when it was this loud to me. My face was burning red. <laughs> I just want to crawl in a corner and like cry. Oh my god. Yep, he heard. Ugh, this is, so, this is so embarrassing. You made me yell, that's why. It was so embarrassed. I was so embarrassed, I couldn't even raise my head. But Yuri held out something. Yuri handed me the muffin basket. But how big is this fucking basket? I... I don't know. Fuck it. Shit. I'm quick saving because I don't trust my judgment. I don't trust my judgment. I I didn't even click. It just I I am hungry since he's given it to me. It's okay, right? All right then. Thanks. Let's see which one should I take. There were several kinds of muffins in the basket Yuri held out. My mouth watered at the sweet scent. I thought for a moment and chose the vanilla flavored one. Ooh. Wow, she made this herself? I bit into the pretty muffin. The sweet scent spread in my mouth. Mmm. <laughs> this is really good. You should try it too. I don't, I don't want it all. Just give me one. Yuri handed me the whole basket. In the confusion of the moment, I took it. All this to myself, are you sure? She made them for you. Well, no, not that. They are yours now, since you took it. I guess it's fine since you're giving it to me. Yuri received these muffins. So there's no need to argue about what he's giving out. I do feel sorry to the Korean teacher, but Yuri gave it to me, so it, it should be fine. It should be. Oh, fuck. I skipped it. Mm, Alright then. Yuri stroked his chin and thought for a moment and then nodded. Ah, Yuri approached me again and leaned forward to whisper in my ear. Oh my god, that is the worst pickup line ever. Oh my god. Ugh. At that moment, I almost swung the basket at him, saying those buttery words as if they're nothing. Instead of swinging the basket, I pushed him away. I'll see you at home. 
If I listen to him more, I'll go crazy for sure. As I clenched my teeth and spoke, Yudi laughed. <웃음> 조심해서 들어가. 배부르다고 수업 시간에 졸면 안 된다. Oh, pretending to be a teacher now? <웃음> 그래도 금요를 받는 음. 입장이니까 일하는 척은 해야 될거 아니야. 안 그래? 그럼 난 이만. 안녕. 안녕. Yudi waved and winked at me. I just stood there watching Yudi disappear. But my arms got heavy because of the basket, and I came back to my senses. Yudi wore me out so much, I think I'm not, gonna, I'm not in, in my right mind. Oh, uh, would you like to save? Yes, I will do. I do like to save. Please and thank you. Over right there. Meaningful presence. Okay. Anyways, you guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna save it here. I'm gonna stop it here. Did I not save? Maybe over here. I feel. Uh, this just feels so bad because this one right here, I want it over here. Ah, uh, I feel like incomplete. Anyways, you guys, I'll see you. Oh, why don't I do this? Damn, like that. That looks nice. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye bye, Janet.